Hi guys, welcome back, it's 2022 and I hope it's been going well for you. In today's quick video, I will show you how you can build a website in 10 minutes or so. It's absolutely free and super easy to do it. So let's just dive in. And to get started, we need to head to a site.google.com and then we click on the blank to open up our dashboard where we'll be starting editing our website. Now during this video, I will also share some a cost some HTML code, some forms, uh, buttons and so on you can use on your Google site when designing your website. So to get started first, let's name our document and we will gonna call it free website. And that's just the file name that it will display on your Google Drive so you can locate back to your website once you have done editing, okay? And as you can see, all the uh, changes are getting saved in your Google Drive automatically. So you just have to be logged in your Google account before you come to Google site and then everything will be saved in your drive. Now the first thing to do here is to choose the team. Currently we are on a simple team with this color selected. Recently Google updated uh, Google sites and you have option to do the custom team and I have done another video tutorial all about it. If you would like to explore how to do the custom teams, please find the video on this channel. I will leave the link in the description as well. So we will just stick with a simple team and maybe change color something brighter like red instead of the blue one and that's it you can change the themes at any point while you're designing your site and all it is is basically preset font styles and the color so if you click on this theme you see how the header already is changing but as i said for the purpose of this video we're just going to keep our theme as simple next we are going to change our header type right here and we will select it as you have options between cover large banner banner and title only title only will display only the text i would like to leave it as a large banner and then essentially you are uploading image on your header you don't have options to embed um, videos right here on a header you can do it just underneath or if you choose title only you could do it underneath but i will show you a quick trick that you can use to give some sort of motion to your header and it is to upload your image as a GIF file. So let me select a GIF file from my computer and then you can see it's explaining with the motion. You can off this readability adjustment right here to see the image as it is. And then if you don't wanna display any title right above it, you can just click on this icon to get rid of that. And that's how you can add motion to your header on your website. Again, you can change the header type and see how it will look like a cover, like a banner only would reduce. And I think banner only in this instance would be the best. Now, next we're going to add some more images, text buttons on your site. To do so, you can double click. If you double click right here, you have options of uploading images. You can also insert text element, use embed a button, then you can assess your drive and just upload any other file on your site. Alternatively, all these commands and much more are under the insert tab, so you can see it right here. In this video tutorial, we're not gonna be going through all of them. I have done another detailed tutorial explaining every single element on Google Sites. I'm just gonna show you the basics and the basically all that you need to know to be able to design the website without going into details too much. Okay, let's add some title. For this video, I would like to use this site as a web designing um, agency website. And again, the web designing is something that you can actually do after watching this video or watching more tutorial videos on our channel. And yeah, that's definitely a skill that you can learn as of just practicing on new Google sites and then sell it as a services so let's call it a bespoke web design and then to edit your text you have all these options right here let's say we would like to display it as a title and then we can also change the font and you can position your text right in the middle okay and then you can as well change the color of your text let's say i just want it to be black right here okay now we can use one of the preset layouts right here for example this one it's just going to give us essential placeholder for the image and the text so i will go ahead and upload image i have saved some images right here i will show you just in a minute where you can get uh, similar icons to design your site and then here we can just add some dummy text right there 
and add some title. Now the color red here comes by default depending on our theme as we have selected red color that's what we are getting right here and we can just bold it and leave it as it is. Then to change the entire background of the section you can come on the sidebar right here click and again you have style options based on the team you have selected and the default colors. You can also set image as your background, but since we have the text, we're just gonna leave it as a plain color. Okay, now I would like to duplicate this section by clicking on this icon right there, and then I will go ahead and replace image by another image that I have previously saved. And then again, I can just swap these sections like that, and we have image on one side and then text right here. Okay, and maybe I will do it one more time again by replacing this image and swapping it on the side. And I will have created three sections of text and images, okay? So you can of course rename it, you can then call uh, this one maybe web hosting and then you can also do content management. It really depends on what services you are offering. Now I feel like we should add some buttons, call to action, and first we are going to add some more pages. To add pages, you click on this icon right there. You can add new page, new link, or new menu section. So let's add a new page, call it contact us. And we can add another page, maybe let's call it testimonies. And then perhaps one more page called about us. Okay, so by default you can see you have the same header which you can however change on each page separately. So let's head back to the home page. Now to insert the button you can click on the insert tab and scroll down here on the button. And then you need to give your button name, let's call it talk to us. And then you can link it to external link or one of your pages. So let's click on contact us. I will show you in a minute how you can also use a custom HTML form to embed in on your contact us page. Now let's click on insert and our button is right here. Again, it's red because of our preset uh, color on our team. Now before I drag this button into right position, I would like to duplicate it three times. So I can just drag each of them under the images we have done previously. And that's how quick and easy you can add text, images, and buttons on your site. I will show you some custom HTML buttons with the Hoover effects in just a minute. Okay, now let's go ahead and insert some more images right here. Again, double click and upload from the files we have previously saved. And as for all other elements, you can just drag and drop and position it right there and then you can change the background as well. Now another quick tip I would like to give you is for example now you want this image to display across your entire site and you don't want any background color around whatsoever. So instead of just uploading image right here, first we're going to add empty text box. So this is just blank empty text box. But now you have option to upload your image as a background. So empty text box just giving you the placeholder for changing the image. And as you can see the difference now, and if you click on your text box and just enlarge by clicking enter and just making your text box longer, you are displaying more of the image and then you can reduce it again. Okay, so this gives you option of displaying your image across the entire page without any marks and without any like empty spaces around. So we can just delete this one and keep this section right here. So that was a quick tip you can use when displaying your images. Now I will add a little footer right here. To add footer you scroll down and you will see this icon add footer. Click on it and then again you can insert your text or you can insert your images. I will just paste some text right here. And then I would like to add some social media icons. I will be using embed function to add social media icons. And again, I will share these icons with you just a second. So instead of embedding by URL, you can use embed by URL when you embedding, for example, YouTube video on your site. Now I will click on embed by code, then paste my HTML code, then click on next. You will see the preview loaded and then you click on insert. Okay, so that's how you can insert some social media icons. Again, you can position this by just simply dragging and dropping as with all the elements on Google sites. 
Now this footer by default will be applied to your all pages on your site. Then if you want to hide it on some specific pages, maybe you have a page where you have too much call to action and you don't want to display footer. If you come on a page, then click on it and then scroll down on a footer, you have option here to click it and hide footer on this particular page. Now I said I will show you custom HTML buttons here as well. So to insert the button again, we just need to double click and then select embed by code. Then you paste your code. Okay, again you have preview, click insert and you have insert some custom HTML button. I will share this button with you in just a second. Again, we can position however we want it to display on the site. Now let's go ahead to contact us form and insert the form I mentioned before. Now here I would like to change this headed image not to be GIF, just like a normal image. Let's say this is our team. And then again, contact us. You can leave the readability adjustment and you can make your text to be more visible. I don't really like the title on the header, so I'll get rid of this. Or you can simply drag it underneath. Okay, so you have contact us right here. We can change it to be black again. And then if you want to display image as it is, you just off this. And then you can also have options of anchoring image on the position how it is. Now in this instance, by default, it will gonna come as a centered and it's okay for this image. So just gonna leave it like that. Now we are going to again go on to embed and click on embed code. Paste your code, click on next and insert. Now this form I have set up with Sendy email a marketing provider. So you would have to update your email marketing provider when using this form. Now, if you have a physical office, it's great to also display your address and you can do so by inserting a Google Maps right here. So if you come down here on insert tab and click on the map, you can specify your location. And then just select and insert the map on your site here as well. And again, as with all the elements, you can just drag and drop them into positions as you would wish. Okay, now I said I will share with you where you can get images and stock media elements, a GIF files for your site. And you can get all of that if you head over to canva.com. So here is my design. Okay, so if you just type a website, let's say we go on that this is GIF currently open. So you see all the GIFs you can get based on your keyword you have entered right here. If you go on the elements tab, again, if you type websites, you can choose in between photos, graphics, videos and audios and it will give you all these awesome icons and elements you can use on your site. The same for the photos. You can also find audios, videos, backgrounds, even design logos right here. It's all everything you need for your web designing need. Canva do have a free version. You can obtain some of the files free. However, if you want to explore all the pro versions, including say Saving these elements with a transparent PNG background. You can select transparent background and change the file quality right here as well with the premium pro version only. Okay, so if that's something you would like to try out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description and you can try it out free for 30 days. Now to save all the changes you have done, you need to come on the app here right there and click on publish. And then you need to give your web address a name. Let's call it free web design site. And you will see if the uh, URL is available. Now there is option, of course, setting up a custom domain. So your a website URL will display sites to google.com. So we have done another video tutorial all about it, how you can set up your custom domain. Now again, I will leave a link in the description and you can find this video on our channel. Now to save, we click on publish and your site is live. You can see the preview on different screen size resolutions by clicking on this icon right here called preview and you will be able to see how your website looks on the mobile phone and how it looks on the tablet and on the large screen as well. It's all fully responsive. Now we're heading back and as promised, I said I will share this custom HTML codes with you. Now for you to access the codes, you need to head to url landing.meritmastering.com slash request dash code dash tutorial 
and then you will land on the page looking like this and all you have to do is to enter your email address and then you will assess this page with all sorts of custom HTML code you can use on your Google site okay including a button and a forms that you can use on your website so once more a URL you need to head to is a landing.meritmastering.com slash request dash code dash tutorial and you will be able to assess all these custom HTML codes that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new as I said if you would like to explore all the elements on new Google sites I have done another detailed tutorial all about it and if you do have any questions please leave them down below in the comment section i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching if you would like to see more videos like this click the subscribe hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload new videos and we do so every single week and now go ahead and watch this video as the next one and i will see you there